during my research for human faces, and I'm not even sure the leprechaun qualifies as a human. Uh, you know, we've really developed in the last 50, uh, 100 years uh, industrialized, sort of faceless uh, food system. And this is actually quite, uh, quite surprising because if you think about um, food uh, and the origins of us as a species, food is really the driver to our social uh, organization and our cooperation. Uh, from hunting and gathering and sharing food, it was from that that humans developed their ability to cooperate and uh, build civilizations. So I kind of like to think of food as the ultimate social object. And uh, you know, think about you know uh, the first food of a of a, an, an infant to baby to take a mother's breast, or if you see somebody who's hungry and thirsty, you just naturally you know want to reach out and provide them with any food, share food or, or water with them. So it's quite I find it quite ironic that we now have an entirely faceless food system, despite the fact that throughout most of our uh, history of the species, we've always known who's given us food. We've had a pretty tight connection uh, to, to our food and where it comes from. 